Oh, and Viking back. Today we're uh, back in some uh, Sebastian Lowe Rally Evo. Um, I uh, set up a little challenge for myself. I wanted to take some of the squirrely, lightweight, rear-wheel drive cars through the mud on Sweet Lamb and see if I can kind of get some good, uh, good stages out of them. But here we got the Lancia Stratos. I think it's like a 1977 or something. Um, really fun car, iconic, um, but it is squirrely. So it's not one of my favorites to drive as far as uh, I usually seem to mess up during my runs. But you know, you know how that goes in a rally game. That back end kicks out when you're coming around a corner or a hairpin and you're just out of it. So. I got a setup. I'm running the same setup on all these vehicles that I'm going to run through the stage. And, um, yeah, it went pretty well. I, uh, I've been lowering the, the default setup that they give you on these. Like, this track is like a high ride height, um, with low downforce and I uh, kind of switched it around and did a lower ride height with a high downforce so it works pretty good so that might be uh, something to try out if you're messing with tuning and uh, all that but this is a fun track I've kind of I've played it so much I kind of know the corners and stuff so I can really get in there without too many uh, mess ups and these are these runs are actually I th pretty sure uh, one takers so I tried to not do any rewinds because this game has rewind so I, I I'm pretty sure I didn't do any rewinds with these so you might see me mess up a little bit on some corners but I was trying to go for a flawless run so yeah there's the the vehicles in this game are uh, I found the trickiest ones are the lightweight rear wheel drives. They just kind of go all over the place, which is kind of expected on this loose, uh, slick surfaces. So the mud here in uh, Wales and uh, in Sweden on the snow is where they give you the most trouble. The loose dry gravel doesn't seem to be as bad in this game. And of course, you know, the tarmac is okay. A lot of, a lot of grip on that. But um, that's one of the fun things about this is the terrains in this game are pretty good. They're fun to, to, fun to drive on. So that was my Lancia Stratos run. Pretty good all around, not too crazy. Next up, we got the Renault Alpine, the classic, iconic uh, blue machine. Uh, I think this puppy's like a 60s. Oh, there you see, I almost lost it there. Um, but this thing is so light. This is like 700, 750 kilograms, it says in the game. Which, is that right? Kilograms? Ah, that's probably right. Yeah, kilos. Yeah, that's probably right. I don't know. I'm not used to the metric system, as you can tell. Um, but this thing has, it's not that powerful, but it's just so light that it's, that it'll give you, give you some issues. But I really like the look of it. One of my favorite, you know, classic rally cars. For the older stuff. But this thing skates all around too, and then when you want to break, <clears throat> excuse me, when you want to break, it's uh, so light. A lot of times you just skid off the road. So running that low, uh, that high downforce, low ride height on this. Uh, there we go. Got around nice. That was a nice, nice uh, corner. Went off the road a little bit there. Yeah, I think that my favorite, uh, I think this might be my favorite um, stage just to do a quick little testing. 
because it's not that long, so you can just whip through it and then adjust and then go back in. I did find out, um, I didn't know, you know, I, I got all the DLC to this game uh, back when I first started playing it, and um, there's just so much content in this game. I just found, figured out that I had the 1988 Pikes Peak. It was in the DLC, but I never really, like, went into the Pikes Peak, so I didn't know I had it. So they have the, in this game, they have the paved um, Sebastian Loeb, you know, 2015 or whenever he set the record on the paved Pikes Peak, but then the DLC gives you the 1988 gravel before they paved it. And it has, like, kind of a washed-out 80s look to it when you run the track, but that's awesome. So I'm going to post a vid on that. Um, didn't even know I had that dirt 1988 Pikes Peak in the game so it's kind of like a little hidden surprise but that's going to be fun to do I don't know if any any elves still playing this game out there this is, a, this is a, like I said a rally game I keep coming back to I just like it for some reason it's probably the vehicle selection. There's just so many vehicles that are good. So the Alpine Renault A110, I think it is. That was the run with that. Not too bad. Solid. Solid. And last up, we're doing the Renault 5 Turbo. 1980. One, maybe, I think, 81 or early 80s. And this is a DLC vehicle, so you won't have this unless you get the DLC. Um, I think this might be the one that came with the Pikes Peak uh, track, so. Now this thing has that mid, mid-engine rear-wheel drive, so it really does kind of handle weird. Um, it has a fair amount of power, but then, like, it tends to get loose on you, too, uh, if you take a corner too fast and too sharp, and it's, I've had issues with it, but, um, one of the trickier vehicles to master, I believe, from my playtime with the game. Fun, though. Another iconic, you know, iconic rally car from the golden age. I feel like with the setup, though, you know, I ran the same setup, high downforce, low ride height. I feel like it hugs the ground nice, though, even though this is a sketchy, you know, terrain. So it should be interesting to mess around with the tuning. But this was my Sweet Lamb Stage Challenge, so taking a couple of those hard vehicles through and seeing how I do. Locked up the brakes there. It wasn't as smooth as it could have been. So yeah, so leave me a comment uh, if you uh, if you thought these vehicles have been tricky for you or whatever. I can uh, I can post in the comments what my uh, my setup is or maybe I'll do a setup a video on setups but um, seems like a lot of people have been picking this game up for dirt cheap because I've uh, my other video my review that I did it's been getting quite a lot of hits so just figured I'd make another vid on this for the rally fans out there um, thanks for watching I'll check you in the next vid Viking out of here. Take care of yourselves as always. See you in the next one. Bye.